Hi everyone, Great Power 60 here. So I'm going to do a review on a game that I picked up. It's called, and I hope that focuses in properly, it's called Tower of Bunnies. And there are uh, six different colors. Uh, two, four, six, yep. Yeah. Six different colors. It's a game. I don't know if you can see here. Now my camera is going to fall. I apologize for that. There we go. Let's see if it... Um, so there's two parts to the game. The first part is to... Um, there's, there's rabbits. There's platforms. There is a dice with colored rabbits on it. And a hook. I haven't opened it yet. I hope you can see that okay. So the first part of the object of the game is to first line up all the bunnies. Now, you don't have to do that. You can just put four bunnies on each row if you want, like, I don't know, or six or whatever. Um, and then there's a hook, and you each take turns, and you roll the dice, and the color of bunny, you have to use the little carrot stick hook to pull that bunny off without toppling everything. So I have no idea how it works. And I don't know what's in it, so I'm going to take it apart and review it with you. So, let's rip her open and see. I could have done this off camera, I guess. Alrighty. So, we'll take that part out. Boy, they ever tape it good. <laughs> okay, now I thought they were white platforms. They're clear, as you can see. And there are one, two, three, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five little platforms. I think I am going to move a few things out of the way because you can't see it as well with my my stuff on the table and of course I gotta show my dirty table right my my cat eats treats up here and if I don't wipe it off right away I get all kinds of crumbs okay so in the package so there's the, the five platforms and then there's red pink, orange, blue, yellow, and purple bunnies. Here is the die that has the colors that you throw. And here is the hook that you need to use to pull the bunnies off. So the first part of the game, you're supposed to roll the dice Lay one platform down, so the dice has turned to yellow, so the first bunny you're supposed to place it on here. Now, there, I noticed a couple of these bunnies have a little extra plastic, so I'm just going to clean that off. So there's bunny number one. This is going to be a long process if I do it this way, but anyway. One purple one. Again, I've noticed that there's little pieces of you know, when they make these cheap ones in the molds, there's always a little piece. Let's see if he stands okay. Alrighty. I'm not going to do it for all of them. A green one. He seems to be flat enough. It doesn't say how to place them, so we're going to find out. There's an orange. Again, there's a little piece of there. So I'm only going to put four and then carefully put, whoops, see how easy it is to fall over. And then we're going to put the platform down. And then you roll the dice again. Now, why is it half and half? It doesn't say anything in the instructions about, you see this one is purple or pink. There's pink 
and there's purple. Now, I don't know why it would be, does that mean you're supposed to put two, like a blue one? Ah, okay. It's got to be blue, and I don't know why. Maybe it's uh, um, something wrong with this dye, because there is pink, and it's half and half, but there's blue, and there's no blue, so we're going to have to say blue. Another purple one. A green one. Again, some, some of these have that little extra piece of plastic, so it's going to give me a chance to kind of fix them all, make sure that they can stand. Another green one. Again, the green ones have a lot of excess plastic on here. I'll be able to take that. I'm just going to use my nail for now. Alrighty. Okay, so you see he's not going to stand because of the excess little piece of plastic that's on there. So I'm just kind of scraping it with my nail. So let's see if he'll stand. Oh my goodness, look at that. The whole thing fell. So I guess you have to really be careful. Because it will all tumble down. Now I hope this is not going to be too frustrating for the kids. Alrighty, we'll put that on here. We'll put a blue one. Ooh, it is slippery. I'm going to just put a yellow one. And, whoa, see that? It already fell. I think this is going to be frustrating for the kids. We shall see. Alright, so I'm just going to put these on because we need to get the gist of this whole silly thing. Alrighty. Let's put the next platform on. Ah ha ha ha. Alrighty, I think this is going to be a fail, guys. I think it's going to be a fail because, um, first of all, doing throwing the dice to get the colors on there um, is going to create a long, long game. Let me take the pink one. Okay. Put it on ever so gently. Let's go with pink. Let's go with blue. Orange. Let's see this excess. The excess um, plastic is not. And let's put another yellow one on there. Uh, so I'm going to have to rub the feet of each of these. Look at this. See? I don't know if you can see that really well. This. Well, you know, that's what happens when you buy a dollar store game. Sometimes you get crap and sometimes you get good stuff. So this is all going to have to be snipped off. I'm going to have to fix all of these. Alrighty, let's see if it'll stand, because if it doesn't stand, okay, and then we'll put the final platform, I mean, there is another one, but I'm not going up that high. There, now, let's roll the dice and see if I can pull one off without toppling everything. I need to take a pink one. So with this hook, I'm supposed to be able to, look at that. Oh, I think the kids are going to be upset. That's not going to be a very good thing for them to play. I think it'll be too frustrating. I thought it was going to be a good idea. I think the whole idea is to have more than four. I think it said something about six. Let's uh, put some on here. A whole bunch of different ones. And the yellow. Alrighty, let's try this one more time. Oops, that yellow one's gonna, gonna make it fall. Okay, 
then we're going to go yellow, orange, blue, green, pink. I've got five of them. Let's put that on top. All right, so let's throw the dice and see. Orange. So I have to try and take the orange one off without you know what Ooh. that is going to be very hard it says for six and up and my grandson is six and the older one is eight and I thought maybe they would have fun with this but I can see that it's going to be really really a frustrating game because one is already knocked down. Orange again. Now, I don't have any orange on the top. So, I have to try and get this one out. Alrighty. Let's do it again. I got no more orange. Yellow. This one might be okay to get rid of. Let's see. We have to go very slowly. Okay. I think the next one's going to topple. Um, orange, I have none left. Blue. Um, I'd have to go around. There's a blue at the bottom. If I see. Oh! <laughs> there it goes. So, I don't know. I think it topples a little too easily. I think if this had been a rubber instead of plastic, like a, um, you know, flexible rubber, um, it would have held a little bit longer, a little bit better. But I would say that this game may be a fail. I mean, it works. It works. However, um, I think that the boys will get very, very frustrated um, if it topples down all the time. And kids are not as steady as adults. I mean, although sometimes my grandsons are better at it than I am. But um, I'm going to try it with them. I'm going to see what they think. They can let me know. And I will get back to you after. And it'll have to be next week because I won't be seeing them until Sunday. So I will go and visit them on Sunday. And we'll play this game. And I'll let you know what a child thinks of it. I'll actually ask my my grandson if he would like to review it. He did a review for me before, but I didn't post it because he didn't want me to put it on YouTube. And that's fine. I respect his privacy. But he did give me a thumbs down on one thing that we reviewed and a thumbs up on another thing we reviewed. So this is the bunny game. Um, with all the instructions on it here, it's called the Bunny Tower. Or Tower of Bunnies. Um, so I, I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Some of the games, you know, I like to review them before I go and see my grandsons because in the past I have just bought something and went over and when we got there it was a complete fail. And the kids lost interest and it wasn't any fun. So now... I'm going to put these back in here. And unfortunately, I have no choice but to just put it on like this. And maybe somehow tape it so that I can always put it together. Alright, thanks for joining me and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye for now.